It's Cheryl with Ethel Luge Unique Boutique. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I decided I was going to play around. I have so many file folders and I've been trying to um, figure out something, you know, to make with them. And I was on Pinterest and I saw a post on there um, by, I believe it's My Altered Muse. Um, and I will link her um, channel below. Um, but anyway, I thought I would give it a try. It's an older video. It, it's a couple years old, I think. Um, but this is what I made. So it's made out of a file folder. And it opens this way. And then on hers, her flip goes up. And you can do it either way you want to. I decided to um, make mine go down. So I put a little pocket there. And then it flips down. And there's a little pocket here. I stuck some stuff in. Little, I made a little pocket there. And I covered it with the book pages I had left over from my last project. So then that flips back up. Um, this flips this way. I made a little round pocket here. Then this side, I did a little pocket there. And then this flips down. And there's a pocket in here. Um, and then it flips back up. And then there's the back. Um, so I was going to show you guys um, how to make this today. You can decorate it any way you want. I thought it would be so neat. You know, and, oh, and I forgot. The middle is a pocket. I haven't made a tag yet. But the middle part is actually... You can put a tag in there or a little secret journaling spot or whatever. So anyway, I thought I would show you guys how I made it. Like I said, the original video I saw on Pinterest. So you're just going to need a regular file folder. Um, these I believe I got at Dollar Tree. I think you get 25 in a pack. Um, so anyway, so you start out with your file folder open. Going to fold this in. Leave yourself a little gap. So it'll fold right. Okay, so you got this. Then you're going to turn it over. And you're going to fold it backward like that. Now, if you don't like the tabs, you can cut those off. And then we're going to fold it over and we're going to fold this one back. Now, that this is, this is where you would have one that is really in line here. Alright, so then you have like mountain and valleys. Okay, so you're going to open it back up. And I'm going to do, she did hers at six, so I'm going to follow that because I think it's a good size. Um, six inches, so you're going to measure up six inches. I'm going to put a little mark right there. Then I'm going to go to this side. And I'm going to put another mark. And then I'm going to take my ruler, line it up. And i am it's easier for me. I don't cut straight with scissors. And she, she said the same thing and I got tickled. I'm going to actually do use my knife to do this. You can do it either way. If you're more comfortable with scissors, um, by all means, cut it. But me, I need, I can't cut a straight line. So then you're going to go to this side and you're going to do the same thing. Turn it like this. Oops. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to line this up. Sorry about all the noise. 
keep moving my ruler. It would be better if I could just hold it still. Whoops, didn't, didn't get it. Let's try that again. Yeah, I still didn't get it. All right, I have to get the scissors out after all, my goodness. Oops, I didn't just cut deep enough. All right. So then I'm going to go right across the center where I made my marks and I'm going to cut this piece completely out. Come on, my goodness. It would help if I could line it up. There it is. All right, and I'm going to try not last time I cut through to the other side. I'm going to try my best not to do that. Oh, goodness gracious. See, I can't even cut straight with a, with a ruler and a blade. All right, and then you have this little great thing that you can use as a folio. All right, so now you have this, okay? So now, you can fold it this way if you want. Now, you can do it a couple of ways. I try to center mine so the inside, because this is actually going to become your pocket, I like to have it down a little bit you can definitely make it even if you want to i just prefer to have it down so you're gonna line that up same thing here so i try to get them as even as i can there we go it doesn't have to be perfect Little piece there. Okay. So then this is your file folder. Okay. So what I like to do, as you see the middle point here, you see this middle crease that comes with the folders. I actually like to fold that. Um, so, and it's just as easy as that. Okay, so let's make another one. Okay. So again, you start with your folder. And I think, I think I'm going to try this side this time. Let's see what the, no, I like the little fish on that side. All right, so I'm going to fold in, give yourself just a little bit of space. I'm going to fold this in this way. And then you're going to fold this one to match if you want. I'm going to go ahead and take my flap out this time on the edge instead of making it even. So you like this again. Okay. So when you fold it up, be, you're like this. Okay. And again, you're going to cut your um, measure up as big as you want. 
you know, like this whole thing is on mine is like 11 and a half. So, I mean, you don't have to go up six. I mean, like I said, make it any size you want. I'm going to go ahead and stick with six because it seems to work out for me. had an idea. What if we, what if that would work? Let's see. Let's fold these up. Oops. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I was thinking maybe we could fold these up as well and make a pot, make a um, a double pocket. Like, let's see if that works. Give it a try. Why not? We won't know unless we try it, right? Of bulky though. That may be why they cut that out. So then you would have it open here, flip down. You would have a pocket there and a pocket there. You'd have to glue down this side and then flip this way as well. All right, well, we have both ways. So, um, now, the kit that I'm going to use to cover my, and you can cover it with anything you want. The first one, pardon me, as you saw, I covered with book page, and I loved it. It looks scruffy. And then I had a ton of these little cutouts, because sometimes I would just sit down and cut stuff out, and this is from all different kinds. I think there's even some Tim Holtz in here, and there's just all kinds. But the, the kit that I have here is called Vintage Spring, and it's by Irresistible Prints. And I bought this uh, way earlier this year, and it's so gorgeous. I was just trying to figure out something really pretty that I could put it on. Um, but I think it's an Easter theme, as you see, like Easter greetings. I'm not going to use that part, but I loved all of this other stuff. So I thought leaving out the Easter, it would still make a very pretty folio. I mean, look at that. That's just, I mean, if you just use that, is that not gorgeous? So anyway... I'm going to thumb through it really quick. And then this is some of, this is some of the pages that I, I haven't cut apart yet. So you get this as well in the kit. All these fussy cut flowers. You get some little uh, envelopes. You get some words, some pockets, some washi. Lots of tags and circles. You just get, you just get all kinds of things. All right. So here's some of the. I mean, the same thing. I printed out twice, so I did cut some apart. So 
So first off, I think we need to glue our pockets. And I think I'm going to have to take just a little bit off of this. So I'm going to kind of go just at an angle and cut some of the bulk off of this. And again, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can cut this off just like we did the last one if you want to. And then I'm going to take a little sliver out right here to take away some of that bulk. Just to make it fold easier. All right. Ooh. That up. See, I told you guys I can't cut straight. <laughs> oh my. All right. There we go. All right. So now we're going to glue this and this together. So it's the inside. Here's your flaps. I know, I hope this is just clear as mud. I'm so sorry if it's not. And I am going to glue here. And this is art glitter glue. And here. And I'm just going to glue that inside part together. All right. Now we can do, let me put a little bit more glue on this corner. It's kind of coming up. Right there. Let me hold that for just a second. All right, so then you open it up. You have your flip here. You know, I don't think I like that though. I don't want to flip. I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. You could leave that and make it a pocket, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I'm just not crazy about it once I look at it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. We can use those for sides. All right. So the way um, that it's going to open now, this will be your front cover. You're going to open it. It's got your flip. You have the two pieces in the middle that we glued together to make the pocket on top. You have your flip back here, and then that's your back cover. All right. So now let's have fun. Let's decorate it now. All right, and I usually use um, a glue stick. Oh, where'd my. Just because it's easier. And I'm going to bring my flap down. Again, this is your front. I'm going to bring that down out of my way. And sink. And
see my front cover. Do this bottom flap. So pretty, it's hard to decide. Oh my goodness. I hope everybody's having a good day today. I want to thank you guys for all the wonderful um, emails and comments on my last video. I was really nervous about doing Betty's design team. <laughs> I wanted to do that beautiful kit justice. Oh, so it's so gorgeous. gorgeous she's got lots of beautiful kits that's for sure all right let's cut around this outside And I'm just going to continue on. So, if you guys, I'm going to put some music on and we'll just keep going. 